Here is a short video showing how he made a rear panel for a Morgan. Once a piece of steel is cut from a sheet, I use my guillotine to cut it to size accurately. Next I cut a hole for the spare wheel. For this job I set my P6 pull max up. The dovetails are set for the diameter and the circle cutting tools are put in the machine. Once these are set to the correct radius the hole can be cut out. In fact it can cut pretty much anything we could want including freehand cutting, cutting slots, squares, even louvers. I'll be making more videos showing some of what we can create using the pull maxes. The pull max makes short work of cutting the hole neatly and accurately. A set of rolls is used to put the single curve in the panel matching the original. Using my P21 pull max and our unique flanging dies, the flange is formed for the buyer edge. Once this is finished off using a dolly and flipper, the wire is put in place, the flange is part closed over the wire and locked in place. Next the flange is evenly formed over the wire using a hammer and dolly. I use my one of a kind pneumatic wire edge closing tool to close the flange over the wire. I developed this tool to save some of the hard work and of course it saves a lot of time as well. Anything that saves time saves our customers money. As you can see it makes a very neat job of the wire edge. After marking all the folds I folded the body lines into the panel. There were several holes of varying sizes which I punched quickly with our hydraulic hole punch. The filler neck was removed from the original panel and positioned in the new panel. This was then soldered in place as per original. Here's the finished item, a seemingly simple panel. Here are a few more panels made at classic metal shaping. If you want to learn how to make panels using simple hand tools, I have a DVD available at www.metalshapingzone.com or visit classicmetalshaping.co.uk for quality panel work.